Jamie Dornan was born in a town called Hollywood, the one in Northern Ireland near Belfast. After bumping along for years as an actor in the other Hollywood, Dornan shot to international fame with his starring role in the billion dollar Fifty Shades of Grey movies based on the hot and heavy best-selling books. A few years removed from that ride, Dornan now stars in a movie that hits closer to home. In the acclaimed Belfast, he plays a father steering his family through the troubles of Northern Ireland, with Dornan drawing inspiration for the character from his beloved late father, a doctor who died of complications from COVID just last year. Jamie and I got together this week at an Irish pub in New York City, run by a couple of guys from Belfast. It's just beyond this door. What is? My playroom. Jamie Dornan became a global star by playing a billionaire with exotic tastes. What does that mean? It means I want you to willingly surrender yourself to me. But far from Christian Grey, the real-life 39-year-old Irishman is just the kind of guy you'd like to grab a pint with. We've got an Irish pub that I left for you, Jamie. Great. Not only an Irish pub, like the best Irish pub in the world, apparently. You spent a little bit of time in a pub in your day, <laughs> both <laughs> yeah. on both sides of the bar. Yeah, right? no, I have, yeah. I feel very at home. <laughs> Dornan was born and raised in Northern Ireland's capital city of Belfast, which makes his latest film something of a homecoming. The heart and the warmth of people in that city is like, nowhere else in the world. I'm obviously biased, but I think all of Ireland are the warmest, friendliest, funniest, most resilient people, truly. And I think they've had to be resilient and they've had to use humor to get through darker periods. Darker periods like the Troubles, a three decade long conflict between Catholics and Protestants that began in the late 1960s and played out violently in the streets of Belfast. We're looking to cleanse the community. You wouldn't want to be the old man out in the street. You touch my family and I'll kill you. Written and directed by Kenneth Branagh and based on his own childhood in Belfast, the film's story is told through the eyes of a young boy. Dornan, a father of three himself, plays Pa, who wants to give his family a better life. I know nothing else but Belfast. Exactly. There's a whole world out there. I come from a long line of men from Belfast. So trying to put a lot of the essence of those Belfast men who I knew and loved into um, into Pa, but then that seemed to always be aligned with what Ken had told me about his dad and what the vision he had for his, his own dad. You mentioned your father, and I'm so sorry about the loss of your dad last Thank year, you. and Thanks. I know one of your great regrets is he didn't get to see Belfast. Mm. What do you think your dad would think? The importance of this movie would not have been lost on him. I take comfort in the fact he knew I did it, he would have been tickled pink by the response it's got and for the, all the sort of accolades. I mean, my dad was proud of the shit stuff I've done. So, you know, like, there <laughs> should be plenty of it. It's our role as dads, isn't it, to be proud of the shit stuff. That's yep. what we do. It was Dornan's father who helped his son find purpose after Jamie's mother died of cancer when he was 16 years old. I didn't want to go to university. I truly didn't. Summer. Uh, 2002, I'd come back from uni, and I remember one day, Dad came home and uh, from work. He's like, what did you do today, son? And I was like, um... <laughs> and I had de-strung a tennis racket that I'd, I had a broken string in, and I'd spent the day just on, on picking <laughs> this thing. And I said, look... And I, I was proud of him. I was like, look at this. Right. Check this out, Dad. Big you're going to be delighted. And he called me a waster. He said I was... said he couldn't handle me wasting my life like that. Mm. I was probably depressed looking back on it now. Yeah. It was only a few years after mom had died and I was probably a bit rudderless and mm. confused about where I wanted to go. The best thing about getting lost is what you find along the way. He landed on London, where he began a successful career in modeling. CK Free, the new fragrance for men from Calvin Klein. I never got a real satisfaction out of modeling, let's say that. And I remember being told that, like, you've got a face that will, you know, the structure of your, your actual bones and stuff that means you'll be able to do this for a very long time. And they were telling me that as a positive thing. Right. And I was just going, 
oh my God, no, I don't want to be doing this for a long time. Well, I hated the lack of like control you had over it. I hated the sort of put your arm down, no, put it up again. Look, look I, f I find it really like, do I get to own any of this, mm. any of me? No. Uh, no <laughs> is the answer. So Dornan turned to acting, booking his very first role in director Sofia Coppola's Marie Antoinette. Do I know you? No, I don't think so. His breakthrough came in the hit British TV series, The Fall. The thoughts, the feelings that I experience are way beyond anything that you could call fantasies. Then in 2015... My tastes are very singular. You wouldn't understand. Enlighten me then. He became a household name while starring in the first of three steamy Fifty Shades of Grey blockbusters. What was your first thought when they pitched you the idea? I thought, um, can you imagine the scrutiny of being involved in that project? Did you really, right away? Yeah. Mm. yeah. It wasn't an instant yes. I was like, Jesus. And we made the films for the fans, and they loved the films, and they went to see them in their droves and it made $1.4 billion. So it was a massive success in many ways, but we all know how critically panned they got. So I have zero regret with being involved in them and making them, you know, because it, it's afforded me the opportunity to do so many other great projects off, off the back of it. That changed your life. How did you deal with the fame side of it? I hid, I truly hid. For the last six years, we've lived out in the countryside and I think it was the right thing to do, to just not be uh, that much in people's eyeline, really. Fifty Shades always will be a part of Jamie Dornan's story, but with the buzz around his performance in Belfast, there's talk gray could turn to gold. I feel like I have so much more to offer. I feel like I'm just getting started. Will there be people from the entirety of my career that only see me as like one character? Yeah. Sure, but that's on them. Belfast is in theaters and on demand now. And you can catch Jamie in The Tourist, the series that already is a hit in the UK, now coming here to HBO Max in March. Our big thanks to The Dead Rabbit in New York City for hosting our conversation. Jamie liked that place so much, he's already been back for a pint. Don't forget to join Jamie and me inside that pub for the full interview by subscribing to the Sunday Sit Down podcast. You can find it on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get yours. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.